Hi, I'm Jim Davis, star of Wolf Dog. You know, in 1957, Markdale, Ontario was just another stop on the road for a busy B-movie actor. But I stopped long enough to notice and enjoy the wonderful farming country in your district. It's hard to know what to say when something you're involved with becomes a historic artifact, such as this film. But I do know it was a pleasure to work with the people of Markdale in Holland Township on this project. It was a pleasure also to work with Allison Hayes, Tony Brown, Austin Willis, John Hart, and producer-director Sam Newfield. I'd like to thank you, all of you, for watching the following slideshow about Wolf Dog and its part in the history of Markdale. Enjoy. Welcome to our slideshow of Wolf Dog. This is one of the theater cards that appeared for Wolf Dog. Here we see myself, Jim Davis, Allison Hayes, and John Hart. All three of us uh, fairly famous B-movie stars of the time. Sid Brown, Tony Brown's uh, dad, Austin Willis, Don Garrard, and John Paris. Some actors who appeared in Wolf Dog. Here we see Sandy Urig. A local girl who appeared in Wolf Dog and Walter Stoddard behind Allison Hayes. And in this shot we see Alex Dunsath Sr. He was a man who lived on the ranch where we filmed a lot of the scenes in Wolf Dog in Holland Township. And here we see Ron Wivel. Ron is uh, very involved in the Wolf Dog activities. And we see him here in his famous uh, scene in Wolf Dog right behind Allison Hayes. And uh, here's Ron as he looks today. Hasn't changed a bit. And Ron, as I say, has been heavily involved in Wolf Dog over the years. And here we see a lot of people sell the summers. Sandy Urig, Red Stewart, David Jackson, Walter Stoddart, and Paul Hutton. In this shot we see Wilbert Wivel behind Austin Willis. Right in front of the F.T. Hill building. And here we see in front of the fire hall, Wilbert Wivel. Rod Bud Fraser and Red Stewart. This is in front of the fire hall, which we're hoping to have renovated in the short future. Jim Davis is standing in the scene here. Bud Fraser and Wilbert Wivel in front of the old fire hall. And here we see a scene in front of uh, F.D. Hill store. No local people have been identified in the scene, although you see Ed Holmes and uh, Tony Brown here. Uh, Grace Kell. She's a young lady you see in the left side of the picture, and there's a gentleman who's we don't uh, know who he is here on the left, or on the right, excuse me. Grace Kell, we see here in the center of the shot, Clarence Bowens. We see just above her and an unknown lady inside the Archer's drugstore. Here we see the Lauren Douglas BA gas station, the Church of the Nazarene, which at the time was a gospel worker's church, Allen's Garage, and the little fire hall. And there's a picture of the fire hall with our car driving in front of it. And here are the plans for the fire hall, as you can see. Quite an attractive looking uh, multi-purpose facility. There's a, a layout for a theater and a receiving room, kind of a lobby, and of course a meeting room upstairs. And uh, it's all hope that this will come through sometime in the near future. And here's the Markdale Garage as it appeared in 1957 and as it appears today. The building uh, hoses a number of businesses. And the side of the uh, mixed tap and grill where we had a showing of Wolf Dog in the F.T. Hill department store. And some scenes from Wolf Dog dispersed among that. And of course in 1957 the way the uh, sheriff's office looked it was actually a feed store. Saul Alcom's Drug Store was actually our Orchard's Pharmacy, and you can see the way the building looks today, 2007. And this is the uh, the building that was uh, Putnam County Cattle Association. It was actually I.B. Lucas Law Office, and the way it looks today. This is the alley where Tony Brown and this pony went up, and you see the alley as it looks today, right beside the Markdale Pharmacy. And this is the scene in Tallinn Township. This is the site, the site where uh, a lot of the scenes were filmed in uh, Holland Township. And this is a scene that was shot right beside the F.T. Hill store. And you can might be able to read that sign. says Reg Reese Drugs right beside the truck there. And here we see Fred Peter's feed store and the B.A. station. A very clear view. And it uh, looks like Mercer's Grossateria was right there. 
And here we see the White Rose gas station where a lot of the early scenes were filmed in the picture and you can see some some of the directorial activity going on and you see myself and Allison Hayes there. And here you see Austin Willis in the back in the foreground and myself and uh, Ned Masters, uh, Terrell Masters, excuse me, talking, uh, doing our piece for the film. And these two gentlemen were very active in uh, traffic control for Wolf Dog, Clarence Bowens and Jack Johnson. Now here's a gentleman who has been involved with Wolf Dog for some time, Jeff Wilson. He's a resident, former resident of Markdale who found the film. And so I hope you enjoyed our slideshow for Wolf Dog, and I hope you enjoy the show that will be showing you in just a very short while.